Good morning YouTube, it's Growly. As I'm just back with a, a little update video uh, following on from the what's on the painting station for November. Uh, so if, if you've watched the last one, uh, you'll know I've decided to use silica carbide as the base material. Well, this is the, the silica carbide you can see. This is all crushed up. It's not Mrs. Rowley's nice piece. This is a already crushed up and, and like this. And so what doesn't show on camera when it's in focus is all the colours that flash. So I'm actually going to take it out of focus because surprisingly you can actually see it better. The colours. If I bring it up close. There we go. Out of focus it actually flashes all the different colours. So that was the basic material. Let's put that to one side a minute. Make sure I don't drop that one. Alright, move these paint pots out of the way. Alright, here we can see, here's the fascia here, and the one of the warlocks. And this was the original piece of silica carbide, you can see the, the colours flashing again there. So what I've done, I've finished off with the runes, and say around the edge. And so all around the edges of the robes and some major runes on the the cloaks themselves. So it's all had a, a, a spray undercoat of matte varnish and then just picking out the gems in just a tiny blob of a gloss varnish as well. Now on these two, there's actually two different techniques to paint these runes. Uh, on the farseer in the green, that was actually done uh, with paint. I said that was a, a very very fine ten zero brush and all the runes were painted on. I had a look at the, the Elder Kodax uh, and made a note of all the runes uh, off one of the pages and then literally just copied them, just a random order, it doesn't actually say anything but it's just a random order all the way around the bottom edge and all up the side of the cloak. So that's the, the farce here there. With the Warlock here, yeah. uh, I decided to try something else uh, because this just doing these runes was about an hour's work, and I thought that's a long time to paint all uh, six models, and I'm going to have to uh, do some runes on uh, the spirits here and on Eldred as well when I get around to doing them. So with the warlock, I decided to try and use a, a CD marker pen. Now. Direct onto paint, I know that would have bled and it would have gone all blurry. Uh, so I gave a coat of gloss varnish first and then very carefully with a very fine tipped marker pen, a CD marker pen, just gone and wrote all the runes all the way around. So I'll just switch it around so you can see the back of that one. See all around the, the sleeves and the bottom and the all the hems of all the cloaks and uh, the warlock farsi runes on the middle of the cloak. Let's have to turn this one round. So there's nothing major in the in the back of there, but you can still see all the runes all the way around. So that's that one. So let me bring some different ones in. Here again with the witch blade. Oh, the singing spear, I should say, and the witch blade. Again, there. The, um, the CD marker pen. The same technique on that. I did have grey hair on these, and I, it just didn't kind of go right, so I just put a, a wash of green just to, to bring again the green Beltane colours in just a little bit more and make them stand out a bit. And so I've not really done much to anything else, no no additional shading. Um apart from a little bit more just to make it stand out on the on the spears and stuff. Uh just a little bit more shadow. So those are those are two more. Let's just bring the final two warlocks. That's that one. And that one. So there. The final two, and then you see it's it's consistent all the way through runes all the way around the hem, and some major runes 
on the back on there. So hopefully you like them. So I'm going to call them finished now. Uh, so I don't want to keep tinkering and just get to the point where it's overdone. So those are my my seer council in effect. And so I can use them as a seer council in themselves or I can uh, use them individually with units. Um, just as individual warlocks and uh, an individual farseer. So hopefully you like those guys and I shall be back with uh, another video very soon. Thank you.